Hi everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Okay, so we're gonna go into a unique piece of analysis here, really a brilliant real world uh, piece of uh, insights that you can you can generate from Power BI. It's just a matter of knowing a few techniques. We're gonna dive into some project data here. But or or, or some um, opportunities data. So it could also this could also be extremely relevant to first uh, to CRM systems or anything where you're trying to capture you're trying to capture information uh, about say sales or or projects or, or or anything like that and you want to forecast your potential revenue into the future okay so I'll, uh, we'll have a look at the, the data in a second but basically what we want to do is okay so we've got we've got our projects and um, we know when a project might start and we know when a project might end right and we know what a project value is well I want to be able to look out on sort of like a daily basis like look out into the future and say okay well if all of these happened if all of if, if all, uh, you know m maybe maybe these are projects that we have um, successfully, uh, successfully won. You know, you could all you could also say this is similar to um, for like a consulting organization as well, where you say, okay, well, I've, we've we've been awarded this project. We think it's going to last for two years. We think we're going to make five hundred thousand dollars out of it. Well, how? What is our estimated revenue if we looked at it from a sort of daily perspective, right? Because obviously, you know, you've got to pay people. You've got to, um, you know. So, do you really want to see it? You know, exactly when the, the money's coming in, or could you do some sort of like revenue forecast? Okay, and that's what we're looking at here. Now, and that's what this this particular cumulative total is set up to do. Now, a lot of you who would look at this would would I believe would get confused because well, I just said this 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 particular question actually came directly out of the Enterprise DNA Support Forum. It was a member related um, uh, a member had a scenario that they were dealing with and they needed to solve it. Okay, so let's just have a quick look uh, at this demo data here. Okay, right. So we have some. Um, estimated revenue of the project okay so let's just so so every single project right is been given sort of like a project number or in this case an opportunity number we have the amount that the project is worth we also have the estimated start date and we also have the estimated end date right or we have the estimated project uh, project duration so say it's 12 months uh, and then we we then can project out the the end date, okay? So that's that's how simple your your report your your data set could be, okay? Now what we want to do is we want to sort of flip this and we want to say, okay, well, I want to say like I know that this starts on the twelfth of of August twenty nineteen. Well, I want to be able to to allocate this particular revenue revenue across every single day that this project is live, okay? Now the key here was we need to actually solve this a bit in the model. Okay, now you, you may you may or may not have seen a few a few videos out there from me around managing multiple dates in your fact table. Well, this is again a perfect example of that, right? Because we want to be able to um, work out when a project starts and when it ends, and then allocate the amounts that are associated to that time frame across every single day within that time frame. Okay. And to be able to do this with a, a DAX format is we need to create inactive relationships here. Okay, if we have active relationships here on any one of these days, well, it's going to um, create some filter context in our report, which is going to um, not enable us to get the, the the right answer, especially with the formula that we're going to use. Okay. Now the other thing that you can do is you see here days and projects. So basically, what we can do is we can work out the difference between the start and the end, or the end and the start, actually. Uh, and work out how many days it is, and then go total estimated revenue divided by the day. So that actually gives us a daily revenue number. Okay, so we can actually work out what the daily revenue number is. And now, and and I don't think doing this in your fact table is that big an issue. You know, usually when you have project sort of data or um, CRM data, it's not huge in a lot of cases. And so. You could do this in a DAX formula, where you, where, you, where you could go and work out what these this estimated daily revenue was, but in this case, we've just done it with calculated columns. Okay, so we've got estimated daily revenue. Now, we need to then jump back in here and utilize this formula technique. This 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 is sort of this is also sort of called the events in progress pattern or formula combination. I like to call them, and so. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're saying go and sum up 
the daily revenue, okay? But we want to work through, we want to work through every single project. And we want to, we want to, we want to say, well, is the project start date less than or equal to a current date? Okay. Then if, if the, those will all evaluate to true, and then for the ones that evaluate to true, we're going to go and evaluate through all of their end dates. We're going to say, well, is the end date greater than or equal to the min date? Now the max date and the min date actually evaluate to the current date for every single day, right? And so to 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 understand if a project is live, well, all we need to do is work out: well, is the start date less than the current date, and is it less? It is it greater than the end, and is the end date greater than the current date? Okay. And if it is, well, then that project is theoretically live, right? And then we need to sum up that estimated daily revenue, and then that daily revenue is going to land in on that particular day. And then it happens the same thing for every single every single date here. And so basically this is actually giving us the running total of all of these daily revenue amounts, you know, and accumulating it up every, for every single day. And you can see here that this then becomes, this can then become our sort of revenue forecast through time, right? Our revenue forecast through time, and we are able to um, I I identify, you know, our cash flow, our theoretical cash flow. And then we can obviously manage resources more effectively, so on and so forth, um, when we actually um, run this sort of analysis. Okay, so that's basically all I wanted to go over there. Now, um, this is this is just a, a very good real, no, another real world example of this handling multiple dates. And this is still, I still know that this confuses every, this confuses everyone. But once you once you start understanding this technique and why we have these inactive relationships and not active relationships, you're things will start to come together. I know, I, I certainly know they will. So have a good think about how, how that all operates, then the formula, utilizing this formula technique, etc., and then how you can um, use this analysis uh, within your organization to make better decisions. Okay, so definitely throw the video a like if you found this helpful. Um, appreciate it as always, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Lots of, lots of great content coming out to you. All the best.